some water to that. And then I'm just gonna go over, I'm gonna make the whole petal yellow. And I'm gonna go along until I don't have any more on my brush. Get it wet, dry it off. Now another thing that you can do too is get it on somewhat like if you don't want it this bright that I'm putting on here then don't put it on your whole petal you know just put it like that and then come along with just your damp brush after it dries and blend it and see how that will actually cover your whole cookie I kind of like it that way sometimes you know kind of splotchy looking because in nature, nothing's perfect. The colors, you'll notice sometimes they have whites, they have uh, uh, gradient blends too, where you have the different shades of the color, like light, medium to dark. So any way you wanna do it. Okay, and I'm just gonna move right along and get the rest of these petals done. And just, you know, dip in water, wipe off with the paper towel. And the paint on these sticks will go a long way. I actually already used this stick, and I did a, a half a dozen cookies last night to take to my friends at the courthouse, and um, I still have a, quite a bit left over. So it does last a long, long way. If you use it wet from the bottle, it won't go as far. It's gonna go on thicker. And this way, I like to do it the watercolor method because that way um, you control how much color that you put on your cookie, you know, where, where you put it to. And another thing too is it dries almost instantly and that's what I like about it too. Whereas if you put it straight gel onto the cookie um, it may take a couple of days to dry if you get a few spots you know where it's thicker okay we're just about finished with the yellow and now this is just my the way the colors I like you can certainly do it any color you want there's all different colors of sunflowers shaded different ways I have this one is a, I did the center yellow, I mean, excuse me, uh, br uh, black, but then I also did a batch that um, I done the centers brown. And then you could even, um, you could even do your center where it had a, a, a little bit of um, green in there too, any way that you okay, want to so do. Okay, so now let's do the leaf. I'm gonna use um, electric green on that one. And what I like to do here, cause I like my leaf kind of light on these. And kind of like they're glowing. I'm just gonna splotch it on and I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Okay, just like that, but we're gonna come back to it. It's not gonna look that ugly when we finish it. I'm gonna wash the green off my brush. And now we're going to do some of the orange. Okay, and sometimes I like to hold this stick in my hand. All right, here we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, and I'm going to do the same thing I did to the leaf. I'm going to splotch it on. I'm going to go all the way around doing it that way. And I'm going to get that on. Just like that.
this doesn't have to be perfect because we're actually gonna go over it and blend it okay so while that's drying we'll go back to the green and now this time I'm just going to be using a damp brush I'm gonna dip it in my water and wipe it off with a towel and then I'm gonna use that to blend that green around Now see how that's shading in. Okay, and I'm going to dip it in again. And I might pick up just a little bit more because I'd like to do these sides a little bit. Just give it a light effect. And if you get a spot that is too dark for your liking, you can take just the damp brush, blend it, and it will pick that color off and lighten it. See how I'm lightening that right there? So you can blend it any way that you like to make it look any color you want. Okay, okay so the orange is dry now. We're going to go back to that with a damp brush. We're not going to use any color this time because what we're going to do is just spread that orange around. We're going to bring it further down the petal and just keep dipping the brush into the water and wiping it with a towel and blend it through. Okay, there we go. See how we're getting that sunflower effect? I've also done it in the, um, where I put the orange on this one, I've used brown. And I use, my favorite brown is called Buckeye Brown. And that really colors it nice too. Just depends my mood. Sometimes I put a little bit of green on the petal even. Like in between the petals, just to give it a little interest. Just keep dipping in the water, wiping on the towel, and blending until you get it how you like it. But don't drive yourself crazy. I, I have drove myself crazy before, and I'd let my cookies dry, and I come along, and I think, oh, I'm going to do that one more time, put another little coat of orange on there, or egg yellow, and mess with it and do it over and over and over. Don't do that. You'll spend too much time on cookies. You won't make any profits. It is fun though. Okay, I am finished with all the colors. Okay, and now I'm going to show you another little trick. I have um, an edible gold. I am really into putting gold on cookies and cakes. Um, this is, it's called Edible Gold Leaf. And it comes in little sheets like this. And you see how delicate it is. You have to be very careful because it wants to come off. But that's okay because I take it off with my finger just like that and just stick it somewhere. And see how nice it just sticks on there? And I have when I when I ship it, I put it I put a sheet in a bag and I heat seal it so that it doesn't end up all over everything in your shipping box. But I'm gonna use up this little piece that I have here. You could use tweezers, but I find that if it sticks to you anyway. I don't put it on the whole flower. I just just certain spots. You know, and I'll press it on. And if you have a piece on your finger like that, it just comes off when you press down on whatever it is. So 
Make sure to get all those little pieces off. Let's put a little smidgen on the uh, leaf there. And there we go. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but I think the, the gold leaf just sets it off and makes it beautiful. And there we have it. There's sunflower. This is a, a chocolate sugar cookie.